As sheep producers, we are tasked to provide enjoyable eating experiences and meet palatability expectations for the dinner plate of American lamb consumers. This video, USDA Lamb Yield Grading, is the fourth in a five-part series emphasizing lamb quality and is funded by the American Lamb Board and Premier One Supplies. There is a tremendous variation of breed types, kinds, and purposes for sheep in the U.S. Consequently, from an end product focus, muscle and fat thickness differences exist across a variety of breed compositions. In relation to frame size and finishing management, our lambs create differences in the harvest cooler, of which cutability can be partly identified by USDA yield grade. An appropriate fat thickness for a lamb and the subsequent carcass has an ideal range of 0.2 to 0.3 inches at the 12th rib interface or in the location that the carcass is split between the rack and loin. Advantageously, people are able to raise the breed that fits their system and operation goals. And fortunately, there are consumers for a wide variety of end products. However, a primary responsibility for a producer is to market lambs at a desirable yield grade category prior to loss of efficiency and the increase in trimmable fat waste. Using selection and emphasizing lean meat growth in U.S. sheep, we can meet our commercial lamb industry with more preferred cutability. Big picture, if we make lambs with more muscle and less fat, we have improved yield and value. The amount of saleable meat yield from a lamb and the subsequent carcass should be a priority for sheep producers, processors, and inevitably result in a consistent premium product for lamb consumers. Cutability is a term recognized to evaluate the percentage of boneless and bone-in closely trimmed retail cuts from boneless shoulder, bone-in rack and loin, and semi-boneless leg. Additionally, USDA yield grade designation can be uniformly applied by USDA Agricultural Marketing Service personnel to appropriately distinguish trimness, retail meat yield, and superior carcass merit. An important aspect of this video is the connection of USDA lamb yield grade with live evaluation. This knowledge helps sheep producers with marketing decisions on their operation. Here we have two lambs originating from North Dakota State University sheep unit, approximately six months of age, and a Hampshire Dorset cross. When we evaluate them for fat thickness or trimness overall, we can be able to handle down the top and you will feel the vertebral column on trimmer lambs, as you go down the top, a lot of times people will span their hand over the middle part of their loin and rack. We can also move down to the fore rib, mid rib, and rear rib. Now those when you're handling the rib, you can feel those that may be too trim, would approximately be right over your knuckles. Too heavy condition is the back of your hand. And as you go over from your pinky, ring finger, middle finger, and index finger, that'd be kind of close to what you would expect. It'd be just right as we handle these lambs and evaluate trimness. Of our two lambs here from North Dakota State University, we have lamb A. Lamb A weighed in at 115 pounds, and with that, he's on the trimmer end. In fact, when we handle him over that top line and over the fore rib and mid rib, we'd expect him to truthfully want a few more days on feed if we were gonna take him to our targeted endpoint. Lamb B weighed in at 130 pounds. When we evaluate him for trimness, we put our hand over the top at our shoulder, rack, loin, and hip, and we feel less of a pronounced vertebral column. In fact, we also can move down the side to evaluate fore rib, mid rib, and rear rib, where that's beginning to fill in more with fat. Being a more moderate framed commercial speckle face lamb, it's time for this guy to hit the market. He'll be part of our American lamb industry. There are five numerical USDA yield grades, numbered one through five. Yield grade one represents the highest yield of approximately 50% retail cuts, and decreasing to yield grade five with the lowest designated cutout of approximately 45% merchandisable retail lamb trimmed to one-tenth of an inch of external fat. Also, in order to be eligible for grading, a lamb carcass must contain less than 1% of carcass weight in kidney and pelvic fat. Without removal of internal fat, true cutout yield would be skewed negatively at fabrication. As we evaluate USDA yield grade, 
we present lamb carcasses to the USDA graders, most commonly unribbed. With that in mind, it's important to keep into consideration the factors that may or may not have an impact on trimness and overall cutability. Between these two carcasses, we have carcass five that weighs 84 pounds, carcass six that weighs 87 pounds. Between these two though, there's a difference in terms of the fat deposition. There's less fat over the leg, over the sirloin, over the loin edge, and that maintains true of over the rack and shoulder and in the elbow pocket. These indications, even though the carcasses are unribbed, would provide us the expectation that carcass six would have a lower numerical yield grade. We would expect six to be USDA yield grade two, and we would expect five to be USDA yield grade three. Additional factors that can evaluate cutability and overall lamb trimness can be identified on the ventral side of the carcass. Between these two carcasses, carcass five has less sex or cod or utter fat, in this case cod, in comparison to number six and less fat in the flank, while number six has less fat over the breast region. With a quick industry comparison of two lamb carcasses, please take note of the body shape comparison of a USDA yield grade two carcass on the left and the USDA yield grade five carcass on the right. There are substantial differences in fat over the leg, sirloin, loin, rack, and shoulder, as well as in the elbow pocket. For ribbed carcasses, the amount of external fat is evaluated with a measurement between the 12th and 13th ribs, perpendicular to the center of the ribeye muscle. As the amount of external fat increases by 0.1 inches, yield grade increases by a full unit. For example, from yield grade 2 to 3. The range of measured back fat depth of U.S. lamb carcasses can be from 0.1 inches on extremely trim to over 0.5 inches on excessively fat carcasses. Further, a carcass that does not have a normal distribution of external fat can be adjusted either up or down to reflect overall fat levels. Examples of this abnormal distribution include excess body wall fat amount or a fabrication defect such as a hide pull over the loin and rack. At commercial processing plants, most carcasses are not ribbed and thus USDA graders use visual fat composition indicators of external fat to assign USDA yield grade. Confirmation of 12th rib fat can be confirmed by probing with a metal ruler across the rack and loin. The USDA yield grade equation is 12th rib back fat multiplied by 10 plus 0.4. For example, a measured back fat thickness of 0.3 inches would result in a final yield grade of 3.4 and stamped with USDA yield grade 3 designation. Lamb carcasses in U.S. commercial plants are assigned USDA yield grade and quality grade while they're unribbed. We have the opportunity here at North Dakota State University Meats Laboratory to rib these carcasses and identify if we were correct or not. In comparison, lambs one, two, three, and four, again, one and four, show indication of being trimmer and would consequently be USDA yield grade two. Number two is closer to intermediate. And that one would be USDA yield grade three and number three would be USDA yield grade four. This image of differences in the sheep industry show five lamb carcasses with a comparison of shape and contour primarily driven by level of carcass fatness. The yield grade one carcass shows a more muscular and lean shape and as fat levels increase the carcass shape becomes smoother and more boat like with fat deposits from dock to shoulder. A true comparison of lamb industry USDA yield grades can be observed with USDA 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 from left to right. These five lamb carcasses were all harvested and merchandised from one day and provides the visual evaluation of carcass shape and inevitably a measure of retail meat yield. You can also identify that as the carcass weight is increasing with this image, 
and as lambs plateau in growth rate and end weight, the animal's daily weight gain is with composition of less muscle and more external fat. Lambs sold on a grid value basis would be appropriately discounted for USDA yield grade 4 and 5. Instrument or camera augmented USDA grading is being incorporated in limited large lamb processing facilities. With camera grading, ovine carcass cutability or OCC is a summary factor of closely trimmed retail cuts. The camera grading system determines and assigns a yield grade as well as expected cut yields and overall cutability percentage of retail meat cuts. Camera grading provides day-to-day -day consistency for USDA yield grading of lamb carcasses. Potential industry improvements of communication across sectors and market signals that reward cutability and retail yield at the processor level can move the U.S. sheep industry forward exponentially. The lamb industry roadmap identified an objective to adopt consumer-driven, value-based pricing for slaughter lambs, with the goal to improve the eating characteristics and consistency of American lamb products. Providing incentives for lean, muscular, and high-yielding lambs, and discounts for over-conditioned, light-muscled, and poor-yielding lambs, will create necessary signals to improve end products. Inevitably, the purpose of USDA yield grade designation and rewarding premium, high cutability lambs in our production chain ensures consistency of consumer satisfaction of American lamb. Awareness of lamb cutability attributes and how they are ensured through USDA yield grading allows producers the ability to benchmark their commercially produced lambs and strive for product consistency. Beginning with the end in mind is the theme for this lamb quality video series. Lamb cutability emphasis provides premium lamb cuts free of excess fat and inevitably an enjoyable eating experience. As a progressive sheep producer, you hold a vested interest in creating a protein that consistently meets and exceeds consumer expectations of our American lamb product. A huge thank you to North Dakota State University Sheep Unit and Meat Lamb, Double J Lamb, and our sponsors, the American Lamb Board and Premier One Supplies.